Welcome to another edition of Kindle Love Stories. I'm so excited to be here with this wonderful author today, Juliette Sobonet, the author of the just released Dancing with Paris. Welcome, Juliette. Thank you. So because her books are set in Paris, we thought we'd come today to this beautiful French cafe in San Diego called Fabrissons in order to talk to Juliette about Paris and her books and wine and the love of all things French. We're so happy to have you. You know you're our very first live author interview. I know, I'm really excited. Thanks so much for having me. You're welcome. <laughs> so let's first just in, let people know about Dancing with Paris. So tell us a little bit about the book. Um, so this book is about a therapist who lives in San Diego. She's 35 years old and she's pregnant and single. And she gets sent back in time to her past life where she was a scandalous um, cabaret club singer and dancer in 1950s Paris and she's the main suspect in a murder at the club and she has to she only has five days to solve the murder and try to make it back to the 21st century and to her baby i can't even imagine coming up with that <laughs> how do you how do you come up with your amazing story well this one was the third book that i actually wrote um, so this one i really kind of wanted to pull out all the stops i wanted to use time travel i wanted to go to 1950s paris i wanted a murder mystery so it took a lot of plotting and planning um, to come up with the plot. I wrote the whole book, then rewrote the entire book. So it was a significant amount of work, but it was worth it. I'm yeah. very happy with how it came out. I'm very excited to read it. So a lot of your books are set in Paris. Mm -hmm. What is it about Paris, do you think, that attracts you the way that it does? So many things. I've been in love with it since I was 15. It was my first trip over there, and I think it's, it's the language. I love, love, love speaking French. I love the food, the people, all the friends I've met there, the cobblestone streets, the Seine. I mean, it's just like, it's such a romantic place to be. And setting books there just really works because it's Paris becomes like its own character. So you have all the main characters and then you have Paris and readers want to go there. They, they want to pick up a book and escape. And what better place to escape than France? So does the city become a character for you in the book? Absolutely, yeah, especially in this book, it really does. It's because I had to do a lot of research into the 1950s time period to see what the clothing would have been like, what the cars were like, you know, all the little details that make it authentic. So that was really fun. So yeah, it definitely becomes, Paris becomes its own character. I know Paris because I lived there for a year. I studied abroad over there, I did my master's there. So when I did the research, I found that a lot of things about Paris in terms of just like the monuments, the big things, were still the same in the 50s. So that was helpful. Yes. <laughs> um, and then I went over to Paris last fall and spent a lot of time there and I walked my main character's path. So like everywhere she went in the book, I just did like my own walking tour of Paris and made sure that like just the sights, the sounds, all the little things that I saw, the little bookstores, the hotels, the art galleries, just started like getting all that sensory information and gathering it for the book. And, um, and then in terms of 1950s, I just had to do a lot of online research. Does it come to a time when it t comes together so specifically for you that you're watching the movie unfurl in your head? Yeah, definitely, absolutely, yeah. What about French men? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is it that French men have that may not be found in other kinds of men? They, what I have found, they're very romantic, they're very forward. It's a totally different vibe than what you get from an American man, and especially being an American girl in Paris, that's different too. Mm -hmm. The French men are treating the American and the foreign girls different maybe than they're treating the French girls. Even more forward, you're saying? Yes. Yeah, and so the whole, every time I, I studied abroad in Lyon, which is a city two hours south of Paris initially, and then I studied in Paris, and then I've spent a lot of time over there since, it's just they're very, very forward and very romantic. They'll just say things to you walking down the street. Like, I put that in this book. There was one day I was just like walking down the street, and a French man goes, Vous êtes ravissant, and it means you're ravishingness. And then he just keeps walking, and you're like, would that ever happen here? Never. I, you know? I've never been called it's, ravishing. It's really sweet, but it's also like equally kind of corny. So it's kind of fun to balance that in the books, how it's a little bit corny, but it's also very flattering. Your books, and what I like about you as a writer, is that you, you use suspense, and you use this wonderful locations, and the food, etc. So you give me all these wonderful layers, but you are also so very good at writing romance. Mm -hmm. Tell me about why you write why you write romance and where you get your inspiration to do it. 
I think um, I've always been, since I was young, I've always loved a happy ending. You know, I've always, I was definitely one of those like cheesy little girls, like looking at bride magazines, like in high school and wondering like, who am I going to marry one day? And I love a happy ending. And, you know, I've, I think like many of us have had, you know, difficult things happen in your life. And so you, it's nice to have this thing to hope for. And I think romance novels and writing romance provides that. Women can escape in this book and have some hope that, you know, maybe this will happen to me someday. As a reader, I like to be transported into something that sweeps me off my feet and that's very exciting and romantic, and I like to write that. Well, you write what you love, mm -hmm. so obviously you have a passion for it. Yeah. And I think that your point about escape is really well taken, mm -hmm. because I think most people would say they write, ro they read romance in order to feel that escape. Mm -hmm. And I feel like you take it to that heightened level mm -hmm. by setting your books in Paris as opposed to I don't know, I don't want to pick on any small town in, in America, right. but you know, it's something so, as you say, so mysterious, and it is the ultimate escape, the right. ultimate romantic escape. Mm -hmm. So tell us about, um, this is a book in, Dancing with Paris is a book in a series, right? All four of my books are standalone right now, yeah. So they're not, but they're the Paris series, essentially. You know, they all have the Paris element, but they're not connected. Okay, that's good to know. Mm -hmm. Do you foresee writing another book about Paris? Yes, I, um, my fifth book, which is actually the sequel to my first book, Sleeping with Paris. Oh, okay. So there is going to be a series now. Um, that one comes out in <laughs> in December, so that's exciting. It's called Honeymoon in Paris. Oh. And then I'm starting a sequel to um, Midnight Train to Paris, which came out in April, and that will be out, well, I don't know when that will be out yet, but I just started writing it. So I think I'm going to stick with France and Paris for a while. <laughs> are you going to stick yeah. with the present day or are you going to jump around in time? We're going to jump around. Yeah, okay. next we're going to 1920s Paris. Oh my gosh, yeah, you're going to have so fun with that. that. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that will require another trip. Yeah, I'm going back in the fall. <laughs> yeah, it's already booked. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> yeah. All right, so now we're going to have a crepe lesson. Yes, we're going to do some French crepe today, very traditional. This has been Kindle Love Stories with Juliette Sobonet and our friend Italo here at Fabrisons. Thank you very much for joining us.